Hello everyone, welcome to a very special edition of Board Game Design Time where we design games for fun. Today, we're gonna actually be going around finding playtest components for games. A lot of you were wondering where we get our components from. So Matt and I were gonna spend a few hours on our Saturday driving around, finding some playtest components. Isn't that right, Matt? That is correct. Let's go find some toys to play with. The first place that we're gonna check is a thrift store because uh, we find a lot of old games at thrift stores. Now, if you're looking for fun games, they might not be at thrift stores. Uh, if you get lucky, you might always find, you can you know, find like oddities or whatever. Um, but more often than not, there are gonna be a lot of crap games there, but crap games still have good bits. So we're gonna check around and see. Uh, it's always fun to go thrifting anyway. I can always find like different knickknacks. Uh, but right now we're gonna actually go to Value Village, which is a thrift store near us and we're going to look for games that have cool components. Sort of like we assumed, like 90% is basically puzzles. It's either, like, it's either puzzles or like, uh, a Trivial Pursuit variant. So, but sometimes you can find different stuff, like older games. Traverse, maybe, you might have? Hmm. So the board is whatever, like a normal board. Ooh. It's pretty cool, though. But it does have... It's actually legit wood. So there's like a few different nice. shapes and colors. So it's like, this is what, like, was it like two bucks or something? It's two yeah, bucks and it's purple, bucks. so it might even be on sale. Sure. So, yeah, it looks like we're like loose bits. Pretty cool dice, got some trident, some letters. We could do something with this. It's pretty cool, some playing cards. So, next to what I think is like camouflage, like boys' underwear, there's this game called Patchwork here. Um, it comes, it's basically a card game, so it's that we don't really care about that part. But the game says it comes with these, which are card holders. So, I actually bought a set of card holders uh, from Amazon because when I'm playtesting by myself, it's easier for me to like pretend that I have other people's hands. And for two bucks, like, wooden card holders are gonna be awesome. So I'm getting this because those are super useful for playtesting. Like, it's not like a game component, but it's like a playtest assistant. And thanks, Night Weaver. So, just got done with the Value Village trip. We found a couple cool things, I think. Um, like I said, Value Village is always kind of like hit or miss. Half the times you're looking for uh, games that have components that you can crib from that aren't Trivial Pursuit variants or puzzles. Uh, and then the other half is you can just find like little knickknacks. And so there's some knickknacks in there. We actually ended up not buying any of the knickknack stuff, but we found a couple of cool games. Game of the Ocean was neat. Um, so yeah, next we are going to go to the craft store. Uh, we're gonna head over to Michael's and we're gonna go and just kind of pick up some different bits and baubles. Uh, Michael's is where we originally got the gems for our game Last Garden. Uh, we're using those in the play tests, but let's see what we can get from the craft store. And get those 50% off coupons ready. When we go out looking for play test stuff, we're not always looking for components for games that we're designing currently. But like you saw with Matt at the previous store, uh, Value Village, he saw those dice in the game of Ocean and was like, oh, these might be cool for a future game. So these kind of prototyping hunts or prototype component hunts, I should say, not only help you find pro or components for your existing prototypes, but they can also offer up inspiration because you'll get weird stuff that you like that they made in the 80s because you thought it was cool. And all of a sudden that will give you some ideas. So when we go to Michael's, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to be looking for stuff a, for the uh, games that we're currently making, uh, but B, just looking for interesting knickknacks that we think could be neat game components in the future.
mosaic section. Uh, you can find a lot of uh, like glass bits here. Um, glass doesn't make the best prototypes, but I mean, you find beads and stuff. You could also find beads in the ooh, gems. Ooh, shiny. These kind of cool. So one of the coolest things about Michaels is the fact that they always have sales. Uh, so there's a 50% off sale on all craft storage. And this is actually what I use to store my prototypes is like these like photo cases. Um, so I usually when they have sales, I usually buy like a few different ones. Um, it's just like good reusable storage for when you're storing prototypes. Uh, they normally have like bigger ones too, but I don't see this. I think they got picked through. But anyways, whenever you go to Michael's, definitely check for stuff like this, like stuff like this. Now this is a favorite section of mine. Um, if you don't already have a really nice paper cutter, you can always get one at Michael's for a really good deal. If you use the 50% off coupons that they always offer online, these are essential, in my opinion. Big gelatinous cubes, I like that. Use some of those, sure, why not? Uh, yeah, so the other thing that uh, this section is good for, the same section that Matt was talking about the paper cutters in, is for things like this, like you can, use these punches to make hexes. Uh, so if you have a game that uses hexes and you need to make tiles really quickly, you can just put like punch board or like, you know, heavy cardstock in here and make as many hexes as you need. They come in circles as well, um, different other shapes too. But like, I mean, you need, this is like pretty large <laughs> size. I mean, it's, like, it's fist size almost. Um, but if you're looking for that kind of stuff, it's here. Also, this is the section where you would find your uh, corner rounders. I don't really use those that much, but if you're trying to make like a really, I don't know, nice cards or nice tableau or something you want around the edges, this is where you find those too. Um, like Matt said, always just use a coupon. So we didn't get anything at Michael's. Uh, I would have gotten actually a bunch of those plastic, oh God, I don't wanna die. I would have gotten a bunch of those plastic uh, containers, but I already had like a million of those. Um, but definitely check, recommend checking those out. Whoa. We're gonna head down to one of our local game stores uh, to show you a little bit of what, what they have there um, and some of the stuff that we use that we can buy in most local game stores. We're gonna go there next, so. Around the table, which happens to be uh, Matt and I's basically preferred local game store, uh, it's the one that's closest to us, and they're pretty awesome. They have ice cream, uh, but so we use sleeves a lot. In fact, that's like our, our main method of prototyping cards. So obviously, you might have seen our cards and with them, they have sleeves on them. Uh, but the other thing that this store has that not all uh, local game stores have, but but they do, they do a really good job of stocking stuff. Uh, they just have extra bits for games. Some of them are from their used games, like if they can't complete a whole game, they'll just take the bits and sell them separate, so you can get like random stuff like this. Um, whoa, I don't know what these are from. But there's like tanks and planes, probably another version of Risk. Um, but yeah, they just sell these like extra, oh, bit, bits. extra bit stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, even stuff that's like on the sprue still. Again, they buy used games here, so they have a lot of that stuff. Um, so you can always check in places like this that have to sell replacement parts, and they can hook you up. Hello, we actually forgot to shoot an outro uh, for this vlog video, and I didn't realize until I was editing that that was a problem. You see, this was our first time ever doing a vlog like this. Uh, and so we didn't really think things through. However, if you like this style of video, please let us know. You can go ahead and like uh, this video down below or leave a comment and say, hey, good job, I loved it. Um, of course, if you didn't like this video, you can let us know that as well. We always want to hear your feedback. Uh, we thought it'd be really fun though to see sort of a day in the life of us as we hunted down prototype components. So hope you liked it um, and yeah. See you next time. Bye-bye.